Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. I've gotten really big. I actually have a videographer that's actually filming and there's his hand. He's a hand model. Thanks for tuning in. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to see whether radar cars are superior to camera only vision cars. The debate's been long overdue this whole entire summer when the vision cars came out with just cameras only and no radars. And there's been a lot of debate whether they actually work or not. So we're going to put it to the test. We're going to find out if a radar car, an older 2020 or early 2021 radar car is superior to stopping and detecting. So that's why I have this big box here. Uh, we don't have a name for this guy. Uh, I don't even know if it's a guy, but uh, we've constructed this little monstrosity. And what we're going to do right now is we're just going to make it look sort of like a car, even though it's just a square box. It doesn't have the dimensions of a car, but we still want to see if the cameras pick it up or the radar picks it up as a car. So I think what we should do is just draw headlights, right? Make sense? Where are headlights usually around here? Yeah, built there. Okay. We don't want to make this too phallic. What's that look like to you? That look decent? Beautiful. They're basically the same size, you can tell. Yeah, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good for that, right? And like, I don't want to, I'll just shade them in a little bit. We don't need to get too fancy. I don't think this will make or break. You should do some windows on the side. No, we're not doing windows on the side. <laughs> so now let's take this to our test facility and uh, let's get a test. Okay, so this is test number one. We have the radar car. This is a 2018 Model 3 with a FSD and everything. So he's in autopilot. He's doing 40 kilometers an hour. And there's the box right here. And he's coming right to the box. Let's see what happened. No intervention. If it hits the box, it hits the box. Did you stop? Oh yeah. <laughs> it wasn't going to? It was a garbage bin on my screen. And it was about to crash into the box. Okay. Let's try one more take before we try the vision only car. Okay, test two. Autopilot, doing 40 kilometers an hour. This is the radar car. Uh, let's see if it'll stop for the box. And what happened there? It beeped. It beeped? It like, it beeped like crash control, take over. And it sees it as a truck though. Oh, that's pretty cool. Did you have to stop though? Yeah, 100%. You to, okay, let's try with the with the vision only car now. Okay, so now we're gonna switch it up. I'm gonna take my Model Y, which is the camera only car, the vision only, and uh, see what happens there. All right, so this is the vision test now with Dax's Tesla, and he told me he's gonna crash into it. If it crashes, that's not stopping. <laughs> yeah, it would have hit it. It would have hit it? Second test, the box is in the... Doing 40 kilometers an hour. It's saying uh, fly slow. Look. <laughs> 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 you know what? I should just push it back home now. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll just push the box home. <laughs> <laughs> now it's telling me to stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on, let me back up, let me back up. Okay, folks, so there you have it. We took that debate and we put it to rest. The debate between radar and camera-only cars, which one is better, which one... Now, I know, I say that half sarcastic and, and tongue-in-cheek. The debate isn't over, but you see what I mean. The debate in, in terms of whether a radar will see some object in front of you a lot better than a camera would, I think we can see in that video that... They're, they both have their faults and both have their limitations. Now it could only, it could be not the hardware part of it, like the actual radar part of it. It could just be the fact that the software uh, isn't written properly for it. And you know, Tesla is responsible for that. But there you have it. I mean, I know already some people are gonna say, you know, the test wasn't fair, it was flawed, it wasn't scientific. Well, it wasn't meant to be scientific from the very, very beginning. It was just an experiment to see if it actually worked. Uh, yes, the box was hollow, so maybe the radar wouldn't have picked it up because it is hollow. It wasn't a life-size, a true representation of a car. Well, no, it wasn't. And I wasn't gonna sacrifice a car or my car to uh, prove that point and make it exact. So, did the best I can. There's a lot of cardboard, and as you can see, the uh, preparation for this 
was, you know, it, it took some time and took a lot of cardboard and took a lot of packing tape. I used actually three rolls of packing tape. So a big, huge thanks going out to Franklin for helping me out with this video. Uh, he uh, sacrificed his car, even though he didn't hit it and I didn't want him to. But he helped out, which was great. It took his time and his energy. Uh, he's a very, very busy guy, just like everyone is. So I appreciate, thanks to Franklin, aka Mother Frunker. If you don't know his channel, I'll put a link down in the description below. Check him out, he's got great content. But let me know down in the comments below, folks. Is there anything else I could have done to make it a little more even that I might have missed? But I think we did twice with both cars and both cars showed that even though there was a message on the screen that they weren't actively gonna apply the brakes and actually stop. So, you know, with all these crashes going on down in the States with emergency vehicles and on the side of the road and stuff like that, this is a, maybe another timely video where you can see the difference in how, even though it says autopilot or it says full self driving, never rely on the car. You are in control and you should always be in control, always paying attention. If you take nothing out of this video, folks, take at least that. Pay attention to the to your surroundings. Pay attention to your driving. If, even if the car is doing all the heavy lifting and majority of the work, you still got to pay attention. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Do this guy. Quick, yeah, it's, quick. It's like, it's, like a, it's like a speed trap. <laughs> yeah, get the box out quickly. Okay, behind the scenes. There'll be no behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Behind the box. Look, behind the box. This is what's on the inside in case anyone was interested. <laughs> <laughs>